So I don't know about you guys, but back in the day, I used to love Ben 10. What a nerd. Anyways, the dude could basically turn into any creature he wanted using his holographic watch. That's pretty dang cool, and I wanted one. That's a weird dang, dang flabbit. <laughs> That's pretty darn cool. But yeah, I wanted one bad as a kid. Still, still wouldn't mind one. Honestly, kind of, kind of disappointed. We, I thought we'd have stuff like that by now. Like it's, it's 2019. We put a man on the moon like 50 years ago, and this is what we have today. The horse is in the back. Horse stock is attached. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. Day, bro. Guys, it hurts. So today, I'm gonna try and do my part to fix this problem and create the world's first holographic watch. Well, my name is a Jake Laser. What's your name? Jake. No, it's also not. Ah. Regardless though, until my flying car project pans out, <laughs> I'm gonna work on this watch. And I'll do you one better. I'm gonna do it for super cheap with lots of construction and design errors. Not not, not because I'm lazy and don't plan things. No, it's so that you guys can follow along and to prove to people that anyone can do this. Not because I'm lazy. Just wanna make that clear. They should call you Jake Lazy. Who let you in here? The way I've decided to do it is like this. Now you see why we're in a classroom. So basically I made one of these a while back. We got a fog machine. That's the wrong thing. How do teachers do this? We got a, this basically consists of a fog machine, a fan, and a projector. The fog machine pumps fog into this little containment box. Fan sucks up air from the bottom. There's legs on this. Air gets sucked up into this chamber and gets channeled out through the laminar flow valve right here. Pretty much it's just a bunch of little tubes together to try and get the air to flow straight. Slide to the left. The fog gets pumped out through the middle and the air gets channeled out through the outside of the tubes. So everything's moving straight, it gets shot up and we get a fog screen out the top. Now, now on its own, if it's dark, you can't really see the fog, but if we take a projector and shine it onto the fog screen, the projector lights up only the fog droplets and we get a holographic image right there. You're welcome. Take explanation. Out. Put my hand right through this display. Ah! So, the trick is to take all of this and then shrink it down to fit on our wrist. So, to do this, we're gonna use a cheap vape, which you can also buy for like 15 bucks, and attach some mini fans to it. I'm just gonna narrate this montage because uh, the one I filmed is kind of like me at Wii Golf, subpar. A 1v1 me though. So for those of you who aren't part of this vape niche, the way it vape works is pretty much like a mini fog machine. It heats up a coil soaked in like glycerin, which vaporizes and creates fog. So I mounted one fan into the front of the vape to blow air through it. and then two more propellers to the side to blow the air up as it comes out. We also added a tiny piece of plastic to the top, which creates a laminar flow, same thing as the bigger model. If we didn't have this, we'd just fill up the room with vape and, and you wouldn't be able to project anything onto it.
strapped to my arm and the fog projected out right above my wrist and I wear the actual projector watch a little bit further back on my arm to project it right onto the screen. Let's go. <laughs> And there we go, projector watch. I know, I know, it is still pretty bulky. And a lot of you guys are saying to use a Raspberry Pi to make it more portable. And trust me, calm down, I hear ya. It's a good idea, but it'll take me a bit to get one and learn how to use it and implement it properly. Like right now, I'm just trying to make a bunch of different features to see which works best. Then I can work on the final design and making it smaller. We'll get there, don't worry. All right, this has been way too much talking, so let's test it. So what we gotta do is press this button on the side, fog will pop out of this top piece, and then we'll get our hologram. Check this out, guys. Oh, yup. Holographic watch. They said it couldn't be done. Yes. There it is, guys. Look at it. See? No mirrors. No magic. Let's go. Let's go. There it is guys, we can literally make a holographic watch with like three propellers, a cheap vape, and a projector. Total cost probably like 40 bucks if you get everything second hand. As you can see, you don't need to be an expert craftsman at all. So there is no excuse to not have them. Yet we get like fake Kickstarter companies, Apple won't make them. Obviously I'm joking, yeah, I know there's like tons of problems with it. You need like a freaking brick and laptop to run it. The people want more. Come on, Jake. This is Jake. No, it's oh, not. But in all seriousness, you have to remember this is like 40 bucks to make with very limited materials and intelligence. So you would think the biggest companies in the world could do something like it. But for now, I guess I'll just keep doing what I'm doing with these futuristic projects as such. But that is pretty much it for this one, guys. Just remember to like and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one.